Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing a extremely helpful video to you. So if you are someone that has puffiness under your eyes, you have bags under your eyes, and you don't want to get surgery, but you want to do something at home to kind of temporarily fix it, at least when you're putting on makeup, and you can wear this without makeup, I am going to share something with you guys. And I, I shared something several months ago but this is an updated version because I figured out how to wear makeup along with it okay so if you are new here I share makeup skincare fashion if that's something that interests you please consider clicking that subscribe button below and hitting that button I share new videos every single week let's get into it so several months ago and honestly I feel like it's almost a year ago I think I might have shared this last November or December. So I purchased this. This is the Peter Thomas Roth. This is the firm RXI. This stuff is freaking amazing. I guess I should hold it this way. This stuff is freaking amazing. So what this will do, it will temporarily get rid of the under eye puffiness under your eyes. It's amazing. Now, when I shared it the first time, I explained how to use it. You have to use very, very little. I, I did a whole video on If I can remember, I will link it up there, but I don't think you're going to have to watch that one, okay, because I have an updated version. So when I was sharing it originally, what I was telling you to do is to use very, very little. You don't want to have any eye cream underneath your eyes either. Like, you don't want to have anything underneath your eyes. You only use a little bit, you use the brush, you, take, you know, you put it on, you leave it alone, dries, and then that's it. And the only thing I was telling you to use is you could use a Color Science color corrector because you couldn't use anything liquid on it until now. <laughs> so I have been trying since then, like to try to crack this code. Like how do you wear it with concealer? Because I do like this and I use this for other things on my face. Like this is a mineral color corrector you can use this on your face in different areas okay so i was using this because it's powder but i wanted to get something else because on some days that powder wasn't enough to totally color correct it and i'm going to talk about color correcting i'm talking about the little bit of discoloration underneath my eyes so i was like i said i tried so many different concealers i tried so many different methods and nothing worked until now so this is what I do. I still use my eye cream in the morning, by the way. I still use my eye cream and all of that. I, I Foundation doesn't matter, apply it first or second. And the video, I, I applied my foundation first. I applied my foundation. I didn't really get it up there or anything, but it was pretty close to that area. Then I take my Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm X Eye. Take a little amount, just like I shared in the other video. I mean, this tube is gonna last you a long as time, honey you use very little of this so I just use a tiny bit um, I have a band-aid on my on this usually I use my two middle fingers and I don't know why I didn't use my ring finger but anyways so you just take a little bit in your you could use your ring finger just to just do a little drop you take it you can rub it together and then at the same time or separately I think I might have done it separately in the video you just tap, tap, tap it in there. Just gently tap it into that whole under eye area. Just keep on tapping away. Then you do the same thing with the other eye. Tap, 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 tap. Just keep blending it in and then just stop. Late, leave it alone. I took my little fan and I just kind of let it dry a little bit with my fan. And then I walked away and just let it sit for about five to ten minutes. Then... You can apply your concealer and it works. I don't know why this works. I don't know why we're using the fingers. I don't know if it's the, the fact that I'm letting it dry longer to, you know what I mean? Than before I wasn't letting it really dry. I would just dry it with the fan and then go out and maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I don't know if it's the concealer. I don't know. But my new concealer that I like, I'm not saying you have to get this one. So just use what you already have. Okay. So the concealer that I the concealer that I use, you're seeing me use in the video is this one. This one is from Sicily. This is my new Holy Grail concealer. This is the one that I'm using in the video. So, like I said, I don't know if it's this along with doing it that way. I have no idea. 
but you use a very little of this again I've shared that in the video I shared a whole video review on this if I can remember I will pop it up there but use very little you don't need a lot of this okay so I just again just put it in the area that I need it and just put a little bit on my ring finger and tap tap to tap away when I did went to the other eye I, I was trying to be very conservative with this because you do not need a lot and I feel like I want too had too much so I had to wipe some of it off so you don't need to use a lot and I just tap it in that area and then I gently tap it again with my my finger I think one of the keys with this doing this like I said I don't know if it's this concealer too I don't know I this is the one that I use okay so just try it with what you have I I don't think it would work with really quickly I don't know if it would work with this concealer this is the one that I know you guys have from Anastasia this is the eye primer and color corrector that I think makes a really good concealer but I don't know if it would work on this only because I feel like it might slightly tug a little bit so you might have a harder time with something like this I would say use like a cream formula I can't believe I'm saying this because this would not work for me so I don't know if it's that or if it's the fact that I'm tapping it using my fingers and not using the brush so maybe the brush even though I was using a little bit maybe it was too thick I don't know but they sold this originally with a brush so that's how they recommend you do it but I just decided to try it with my fingers really lightly tap 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 let it dry five to ten minutes at least then come back and use your concealer and even when you use your concealer don't use a beauty blender it's gonna pick up the product so you just want to use the concealer little tiny bit of concealer just tap it in the area be very gently I mean you're barely you're I'm using showing back in my hand like you can tell how it feels but seriously you use very little tapping when you're doing it just be like you're hardly touching the skin you're just blending away because you don't want to disturb any of that under it and I even got a little bit under here now I have a slight like no it looks pretty damn good so I decided today to actually powder under my eyes and I use the Charlotte Tilbury um, magic powder you don't have to use this one but what I would recommend is using a very very light powder like a fine powder finely milled powder is what you want to use under your eyes whenever you're you're setting your under eyes I was never a fan of setting under eyes I've shared videos on that but I do do it occasionally I'm probably gonna start doing it now with this but I use I cannot stress how little I use I'm not just whacking on a bunch of powder on my face <laughs> no girl so I just put a little bit on and then I sweep it off it works you guys you can work you can use concealer like I said you don't have to go out and purchase this one this is the one that I use and it works for me but practice with what you have so I still feel like little little bit is all you need so first like I said just use a little bit of product blend it out tap it out use a little bit of concealer don't go crazy with concealer I still think the key to making this work for you is to use very little product I know a lot of you have purchased this since I shared it the first time some of you said you still had issues with it some of you didn't but I still application is still important if it doesn't turn out then wipe it off and start again I, I had to do that the first time I did this because I played with it too much another thing that didn't work for me is I tried using the beauty blender Beauty Blender doesn't work the concealer with this. I, I just found that when I did that, it was looking patchy and all coming off. So the best tool to use with this is our fingers. That's it. And use very little. So I hope that you guys really enjoy this. Really hope that it was helpful. I am like thrilled about this. So I really hope that this was helpful. If you don't already have this, I definitely would still recommend picking this up. If you have puffiness or under eye bags, it's a miracle. It's not going to permanently get rid of any puffiness, but it's a temporary fix. For someone like me that gets a little bit of that and I don't want to have surgery so look at my, my eyes look amazing today so I really hope that was helpful hope that you enjoyed it please make sure that you share this video and give it a thumbs up we would really appreciate it if you're not already subscribed click that subscribe button I will keep I will share all the information with everything that I'm wearing in this video I have this eye tutorial coming up too if you're interested in seeing that you can follow me on all of my socials, and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. Hold on, I'm having a few moments. If you have puffy nip, puffy foot,
<laughs> um, one's tangled. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. And today's the bed. Bed. Because it's the first time I tried. He's just moseying along with this little leaf blower, moseying along on sidewalk. Are we done? Probably not. Are we done? No, of course not. And there's days when I have like the dinosaur. <laughs> Gotta wait for the dinosaur. It's okay, I'm having a hot flash anyway, so. Mom's having a hot flash. <laughs> what was I saying? I don't remember because I got really interrupted. Um, I don't remember what I was saying because I got interrupted. You can't interrupt a woman that's going through menopause because if you do, it just goes to hell. 